Okay, so we have created our tabbed application. And at this point, I want to talk about how to show or hide the uh, tabbed bar. Now, let's look at that again. If we look in the design view, we will see the list. Uh, sorry, the list. We'll see all the tabs, right? And let's say, for example, that uh, why would you want to hide the tabbed bar? Well, one reason could be that when you go into Say you remember when we talked about this uh, in the beginning, a tabbed application is basically a collection of view navigators which have multiple that can have multiple views, right? So let's say you click the examples tab and then you go into a view, and when you're into the view, you don't want to see the uh, bottom tabs because you're you're now immersed within the app. Hey, there's a there's a word immersed immersed into the app and you don't want to be distracted by the tab bar at the bottom so we want to hide that. So let's uh, go ahead and create uh, one more view so that I can show you that when we switch to that that we have we specifically set the uh, tabbed bar to be hidden. So uh, first things first let's jump back here to source view. Um, it's the examples that we're going to add to but uh, right here let's go ahead and click right click and we choose new and then we choose MXML component and this is based on the view and for this uh, let's go ahead and create this uh, Android view and this would be like the Android apps uh, examples that we have go ahead and choose finish and at this point um, let's change the title and we just say Android apps remember um, we can affect the title by changing it here within each view. So we have about, we have content, we have examples, we have extra, and then we have Android apps. All right, jump over to examples view, and uh, I'll just quickly show you when we what we're listening for. We want to click event. Whoops. There's no proposals. What you talking about, Willis? Sorry. Uh, did you know Gary Coleman lived in Utah? That's where I live, man. Of course, he uh, was kind of crazy, but I actually saw him once. He he came into this car dealership that I was at, and he comes walking in, and he was walking real fast, and uh, came in, and apparently his air conditioning in his uh, car wasn't working, and he was looking for a dealer to fix it. And I was at the Honda dealership at the time, and he comes walking in, uh, and we're like, hey, that's Gary Coleman. And uh, anyway, he walked up to one of the guys and asked him, and they he found him a place, and then he walked out. Uh, but uh, so, you know, my claim to fame. Anyway, how did I get onto that? All right, let's talk about uh, we want to change. We want to change. What is it called? No, selection. Oh, come on. It's It's coming to me. It's leaving me. Uh, wait, 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 hold on. List. Nope, someone's yelling it at me. And they're saying, Brent, don't you know what it is? It's the... What is it called? Oh, come on. It's a change event. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's like select oh all right you're all laughing at me now I'm gonna pause and look it up pause all right you're all laughing at me you're all ha huh, huh, Brad you can't remember what that is uh -huh, uh. that's all right I, I, I know I know it because I just did it in this other app so let me see what I did come on give a guy a break oh yeah See, I told you, change. <laughs> See, it was hard to remember the change event. Now I feel silly. Don't you feel silly? All right, we want the change event. I knew that. See, I was right. I just, I just didn't know that. All right, let's go ahead and generate a click handle. Man, I love this about Flash Builder. 4.5 automatically creates the function for us, gives us the index change. Man, it's perfect. All right, now at this point, we want to say navigator. 
Uh, I'm just going to hard code this and you're going to laugh at me and you're going to say, Brent, you're so stupid. And I'm going to say, yeah, but it's free. And so I want to push the view. I specifically want to push the views dot Android view. All right. Now you're saying, well, Brent, if I press any of those, it'll load the same view. But, 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 and I'll say, yeah, but, but you would do something differently, wouldn't you? You would test against the example title, or you may do any number of things to check for which one. Again, this is just, a, this is just an example. All right. Let's go ahead and save that. Now you're thinking, come on, Brent, show this on the device. I'm getting bored. All right, okay, let's run this on the device. And let's go ahead and click Run Tab Application. Oh, <laughs> it, it launched it on the desktop. And the reason it did that is because that's what was that was the last thing I did. So I went to Run Configurations. Now I want to run it on the device. And now let's look over here. And it's launching. It's building. It's running. Hey, and here it is, and it loads up, and we're going to get our tab. So we have our About Me, we have our Examples, we have Contact. If I click one of those, it brings up the thing with the stuff, and then I click back, and it'll dismiss it. And we have Extras, and you're saying, wow, Brent, this is exciting. All right. So now it comes to Android apps. Now, if I wanted to set this up so that we hide, again, we want to hide the tabs because at this point, I don't want to be navigating around. I want them to go back to see the rest of the examples and then be able to go back. And if I press the back button, see how it brings us here. And if I press back, it exits the app. All right. So at this point, let's talk about how to pause pause <laughs> how to uh, hide the tab bar so in order to do this we can change it by from the view we can say hide tab bar and it's specifically it's referenced as the uh, tab bar vis visible property and so we can say this dot tab bar visible equals false so at this part at this point uh, in fact, I, I take that back. Let me cut this out. Let me cut that out. Cut it out. And let's jump over to the Android view. And here, we'll go ahead and let's add a component. Let's, uh, let's just do a creation complete event for the sake of time. Creation complete. And then let's go ahead and generate a, an event handler because that's the cool thing about Flash Builder 4.5. And let's go ahead and paste that. Save it. Now when the basically when the tab bar comes in, it's gonna say visible equals false. So let's go ahead and test that. Look over here at the phone. And it's running, it's running. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we click on examples, and then when we switch, hey, 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 notice it hit the tab bar. See, and that's what we wanted. Now if I click back, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have a winner. Now, of course, uh, we talk about how we can animate those things. You know, if you check out the basic view app tutorials, I've only said that a couple hundred times. You will know how to do all this other stuff, how to customize the action bar, and uh, any number of things. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.